Katrina here from Katrina and Clayton building a food forest in Scotland. We are just about to plant out some more of our bolotti beans and I say more because we had a bit of a disaster this week. You can see that our narrow raised bed has had some netting put over and you'll see why that happens in a minute. So let's have a look shall we? Here's our gorgeous bolotti beans that have been growing on the windowsill for a few weeks now. They've been weathered outside and I planted them out. This is what they look like the next morning. The deers had been in and completely ruined them all. Luckily, I only planted out one of the five trays. This is the problem we have. Our boundary has got hedging that has just grown and not been maintained. So there's gaps underneath. We put a second row of cherry laurel in last year there's 50 of them along here and they've pretty much done nothing they've not got probably about 18 months ago now they've not actually got bigger at all so they're not helping to close this gap any pruning we just throw in here as well so it's more of a big tangled mess it's about a meter wide but they still manage to get through and they're pushing the wire up and going underneath and because it's on a slope, it's just not pulled tight enough to actually maintain the tension for them not to do that. You can see there's big gaps in there. We really need to fence it, but to fence it, it's just so much money. We just cannot do it. So we're going to look at dead hedging later on in the year. So for a quick fix, hopefully for this season, I have got some netting that we had from our old fruit cages and I'm just pinning it across the back, putting it right over the top and then pinning it to the other side just with some little clips that I had. So hopefully we can grow our bolotti beans in here and not have any issues for the rest of the season while we work on the hedging and the dead hedging situation project that we're going to be doing for the rest of this year you can see it's looking all right and everything is still going to be able to grow fine underneath there the bees and the butterflies and everything can still get in there it's just been clipped on with some clips that i had so let's hope fingers crossed that solves our problem at least for this season i mean wow some of them have carried on growing but the rest of those 15 20 or so will have to come out but i've also added something else that's supposed to be a deterrent i added these last year but for the birds i didn't really think about adding them more of them for the deers they are foil strips a foil curtain door and i've literally just cut them up and I've just wrapped them around our trees and our fencing and you can hear the noise of them as the wind blows but also when the light hits them they reflect which is why I had them for the birds because that kind of it off puts the birds but I've added quite a lot so let's hope that deters the deers too.